Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Cuisine. Got Libby with me tonight. Special video, it's her birthday. But I'm not going to tell you how old she is because she may hit me on camera. But anyways, it's her birthday. We're having some, some friends and family over tonight cooking up some hamburgers. But we are making homemade ice cream. And the other day she found the world's simplest homemade ice cream recipe. The simplest ever, right? Yeah. It's, it is. It's easy to do. And so we're going to start doing that. We're going to let y'all see us do it. So stick around and see how we make the simplest homemade vanilla ice cream recipe there is. I'm her assistant, so tell me what we're going to, what eat, eat, what this is. We're going to, the regular recipe is four cups of whole milk, a can of Eagle Brand, and a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. So we're going to double it. So we gonna, may triple it. We're going to see how much fits in here. We're going to go, this, these have a fill line on them, so you can't go past the fill line. So we're going to start with four cups of milk. All right, and that's a pint, so that's two cups there. So we're going to put in a quart of milk. I think we should double it first and see if we can. We are. We're going to double it first and we're going to see how much room we got left. Oh, yeah. We'll okay. Fine. Okay, that's four, yeah, that's four cups. So this is, we're putting in the second recipe now. Yeah, we can. So you had one and a half teaspoons and one and a half teaspoons. Three teaspoons is a tablespoon. So I'm going to put in a tablespoon of vanilla. And we have uh, Mexico vanilla. One of my students was going down there and they uh, brought it back to me. They went to see some family and they brought me back some vanilla. So we're gonna put one tablespoon of vanilla. 12 cups of milk. So we're gonna go ahead and triple. Okay, we know we make, so we're gonna triple. So that's gonna be another half. So there we go. One and one half tablespoons. Understand? Okay. Second can of Eagle Brands going in. And we're using a spatula, that way you can clean out the inside because this is pretty thick and we want to clean all the edges out. Now, do you want to top it off with milk a little bit more or not? I don't think we need to. It's, it's almost there. And this is whole milk. We're using whole milk tonight. That's good. There we go. Charlie took off. Scared Charlie when the can hit the floor. So you got your, we've got our dasher in. Here's our top. Now one thing years ago, it was a hand crank, right? We had a hand crank. Now they're electric, comes in a lot handier. So we'll move this over. And one thing always to remember is, is do not, um, don't put your ice in first. You gotta put your, your whole container in first. Let's move the vanilla out of the way. And we're gonna use this to catch it because we put salt in the ice to lower the freezing temperature and it'll get colder than 32 degrees with our water that's in there. So we're gonna lower the temperature, it'll freeze faster and it'll get a whole lot colder. So we're gonna put ice in. So since there's salt in it, we don't want that to get on our grass because the salt will kill your grass. So the container goes in. Now the thing that this is the tricky part is right here, you've got to get this in there so that it goes in together. And that's the tough part. All right, it's locked in place now. Seems to be good. If we have it locked in place, we're gonna turn it on, and then we're gonna start putting in our ice, salt, ice, salt, and then we'll top it off with some water and fill that up all the way. And again, we're gonna catch it in here so the salt doesn't go out. We wanna catch it and get it away from our grass.
so it's nice and loud. Hand me the salt there. I'm gonna drop in some rock salt, or you'll see it called ice cream salt, but it's rock salt is what it is. That in there. What's that? In the it's be with all your other salts in the grocery store, so it'll be usually on the bottom shelf, kind of next to your pickling salts and things like that. Hot as it is today, I may not have to melt any of this ice. Hand me the coupler. All right, y'all can hear the noise. It's gonna run. When it, you may have to add ice to it occasionally. It's a hot, hot day today here in Texas, so we're probably gonna have to add some ice here a little bit, but it's gonna run. When the ice cream gets thick, this motor will stall out, so you need to stick around. And when it stalls out, you just unplug it, and then we're gonna pack some towels around it to keep it good and cold and wait for supper tonight when we serve it. We'll be back with y'all once this gets ready. trying to float. Push the lies down in there. It's starting to start to picking up. Well I don't know if y'all can hear this on there but that motor's starting to really lug down and you can tell it's fixing to stop. It just, it's got a, it's not, it's lower sounding to it. I'm going to take a little video here. Almost there. That's the boss, all she's going to go. You can tell it's slowed down to a crawl. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. Take the motor off. Now we'll leave the the uh, we'll leave leave this in there. We don't want it to float. It will float if you're not careful. But we're gonna kind of put some more ice in it. One thing to do if you have one of these that aren't single wall that have a tube, make sure. Where's it at? There's a tube here somewhere. A hole right there. There's a hole right there. If you have one with a tube, make sure that tube don't get a piece of ice in it and gets gets stuck. Because what'll happen is that water will start filling up in there and it'll overflow into your ice cream. Don't want that to happen, I promise you, I've had that happen before. But that's there, we're gonna come in here and I'm just gonna put some ice up on top of it and again, I'm holding it down so it doesn't go anywhere. You wanna grab this for me, Ed? Let Eddie grab that ice for me. We're gonna see if we can shove some down in there and force the water out, but the ice, we want ice down in there. So that's, that's pretty good, I think it's all that's gonna go right there and it's wanting to come up. And I'm just gonna take a big towel, put it right there. It's gonna stay nice and cold. We're gonna eat our hamburgers. And after we get uh, through doing that, we'll pull this out and let y'all see how it turned out. But we're just gonna let this sit and just get that much colder for just a little bit. All right, this thing's been sitting uh, about an hour now probably, so we're gonna unpack it. You can tell it's good and cold. Ice froze to the towel. Get the ice out of the way. There we go. All right, we're gonna pull. You can see, boy, that is nice. It is a good, solid ice cream. You know, it's in there, and it's. It ain't gonna be the, you know, hard froze, but it's darn sure in there pretty good. We're just gonna serve this up. I've got a, quite a few people here tonight, so we're gonna serve it up in styrofoam cups. You can tell it's nice and thick. It's looking pretty.
And that's my cup right there. And I forgot a little tasting spoon, so let's just do it like this. Mmm. I tell you what, it's not bad ice cream. I told you. Like like we said, simplest, simplest ice cream recipe. Very simple. Three ingredients. Can't hardly mess it up on that. It's nice, it's vanilla, -y, it's creamy. I know uh, my mom used to make one with a, a custard uh, type sauce where you would actually have eggs and cook it. It was very good. And so there's a lot of great recipes out there, but we did this one because we, like we said, the world's simplest vanilla ice cream recipe. I think this is it, but it's still got a good taste. So that's it. Libby's in the house taking care of our guests. We got the burgers in there, been serving them. I'm going to slip back inside, get the ice cream out, and uh, take care of all of them. They're, everybody's ready for it. So thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. I really do appreciate it. Remember to hit that thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And we're going to see you all down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.